Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your host, Buckning, and today uh, we're gonna give you my end of the week update here because I'm gone for the weekend. So uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we put $100 a week into a tax-free savings account to build a dividend portfolio right in front of your eyes. And if you're not new, welcome back. And if you don't know already, I'm your host, Buckning. So um, yeah, we made some purchases today because I'm gone for the weekend. So uh, this is my end of the week update here. Portfolio close on out at $14,199.94 for the day. Uh, down $156.86, down 1.09% for the one week. Down $188.18, down 1.31%. For the one month, down $80.61, down 0.56%. For the three months, down $607.21, down 4.1%. For the one year, down $795.50, down 5.3%. And for the all-time, we are up $703.84, up 5.21%. We have $23.56 in the cash account. And uh, the purchases, well, the purchase we made today was actually in Qualcomm um, because it's down. Uh, they they reported some earnings and it was uh, not as expected. And so it did drop. And now this position here, I'm, I'm, I'm down probably over. Yeah, you can see. Um, so Qualcomm, um, ticker symbol QCOM, closing out at $105.09, down $7.41 on the day, uh, down 6.59%. We now have nine shares because I bought one today. Uh, total position value of $934.92. Our average price of getting in is $133.06. So you can see there's a big gap between what it is at today and what I, my average cost is. And it holds about 9.23% of the portfolio. Overall, um, since starting this position, we're down uh, almost over 20%. Um, but the yield now is 2.54% and we are going to keep bringing down that dollar cost average. So you can see here, uh, we bought one at $103 US, uh, got one full share exchange rate, of course, of 1.3995 and a total cost of $144.76 Canadian. Uh, I think I pay like $1.80 uh, for the exchange um, fee that they have here. So that's included in that exchange rate. So that's Qualcomm. And then of course, every single week when we do purchase a full share, we do buy a fractional share in the Vanguard S&P 500, ticker symbol VFV, <clears throat> closing out today at $90.85, down 60 cents on the day, down 0.66%. Total position value of $1,239.84. We have about 13.66 shares, holds about 8.74% of the portfolio. And our average cost of getting in is $93.50. Nine cents, so another opportunity to dollar cost average down. As we go down, you can see the buy here. Uh, we got 0 0.274 of a share at $91.23, and uh, that is a $25 charge because every week we buy a fractional buy of $25. Dollars, dollars, dollars. And so uh, we'll head over to trackyourdividends.com, of course, to update things here. So as you can see here, without the updated positions here, we have a uh, value of $13,952, up $660, $660. Portfolio yield of 4.13%. Yield on cost for us is 4.34%, thanks to dollar cost averaging. And annual income from dividends is $577. Um, so you can see not updated position, not updated position, but we'll go ahead and add the first one, which will be VFV because we are on the Canadian side of things. Uh, the amount of shares we got was 0 0.274 at a cost at $91.23. We'll go ahead and add that holding. And then we will change the, the um, default portfolio. I think it's, uh, is it this one? No, it's edit account holdings. Put it in the US, update the portfolio bit of a difference there um, due to the exchange rate. When it comes to the US side, we are down <laughs> on things. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and add a new holding here. Ticker symbol for Qualcomm is QCOM. There it is. We've got one share at a cost of 103, 40, not 33, 44. Go ahead and add that holding. 
and we'll change it back to the Canadian side to give you guys an update. Back to the Canadian side, update the holding, and there it is. So now portfolio is $14,119, up $698. Uh, portfolio yield with the updated position is 4.12% if you build the portfolio today. And our yield is 4.33%. Annual income coming in at $581, so a little bit of growth there. And uh, yeah, we'll go down to Qualcomm. You can see we have nine shares. <clears throat> Closed out today at uh, the price of 141.83, which is the Canadian price. Our average cost of getting in is 133. Um, so see how there's a discrepancy there. Um, and uh, profit is 7891. Uh, but we're getting about $36.86 uh, Canadian on that side of things, dividends. And of course, there is that um, withholding tax of 15% on your dividends when you hold US shares in a tax free savings account or a non registered account as well. Uh, VFV is off still, but that is fine. Uh, our closing price today was $90.74, and our average cost of getting in is $93.56. You would have a better yield today as of right now than we would at 1.26, uh, so a bit better return there, and we're getting about $16.08 over the year uh, from Vanguard S&P 500. And so, yeah, that is trackyourdivens.com, completely free to use. Um, but a good way to track your dividends, as you can see here. So we're expected in November to get about $29. Can't confirm that um, 100%, but yeah, you can see it shifted a little bit. Instead of last year, our, our January, April, July, and October seem to be very, very high. Um, but who knows, maybe it'll balance out in the next year. So that is trackyourdividends.com. And we'll have, head over to ShareSite. This is one I pay for <clears throat> to use because I have more than 10 holdings in this portfolio. And that is showing VFV, but we're not looking at that. We are going to be looking at this one here, which is the all time portfolio for this financial year. Already update all these positions here. So 13.66 of a share here and nine shares in Qualcomm. And as we know, I only like share site because it gives you the total kind of return includes dividends, includes uh, foreign exchange. Uh, into your portfolio to for the performance of the year. So as you can see here, capital gains coming in at $1,983.23 down, down 12.5%. Dividends, uh, we're at $392.88, up 2.48%. And currency gain up $248.52, up 1.57%, which gives us a total return of down $1,341.80 three cents down 8.46 percent um so as long as for this year i think as long as we don't go below a negative 10 percent in the red i think i'll be happy with this year as we've continued to gradually buy into the market uh throughout this year because this year was probably a good year for dollar cost averaging things down um so yeah that's that's pretty much it for the week guys but one thing to take into consideration when uh you're doing this stuff is in my opinion, and this is not financial advice, of course, this is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, but I, I just feel like the market is about to do its bottoming out. And and I have talked about that. And the downside is just um, way less than than what it could have been at the beginning of the year. And and that's a good thing because if it's if the downside is less for me, when investing in positions, my current positions here, like Qualcomm, for example, uh, it can't go down any further. I, as much as I wanted to, um, I will keep on investing as it goes down. But the upside is all there. Um, there's an infinite amount of upside and way less downside now, I believe, unless the market goes to completely zero. But that would require all the companies in the world to go bankrupt at the exact same time. And I just don't think that's possible. So, um, but yeah, as the market goes down, uh, I think we'll continue to dollar cost average in as we always do because regularly investing in uh, regular intervals does does hedge against you know those drastic drops that you'll see in a portfolio uh, because you are buying at a lower price, brings down your dollar cost average, and then the upside is just fantastic. And so that's pretty much it. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and uh, have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys when I get back. And uh, yeah, enjoy the, uh, the weekend. So mm, bye.